Hey guys, it's Matt Parsons with some Credit Qigong and Reiki, and today we're going to talk about a small practice that we call Ketsuin locally. As far as I'm aware, this is um, from the Chinese words Shoyin, which means hand seals and Taoist practice. And we teach um, about half of the Kujikiri mudras in this process. So instead of the full nine cuts, you're going to get like four. And Part of that is to make this accessible and approachable to build up to the Kujikiri, but also to activate your energies in your body and your energetic field um, in a specific manner that is good for Reiki. The mudras start off with Gasho. Okay, so Gasho is pretty much the standard Reiki um, mudra. And, you know, if you want to seek like guidance from Reiki, you can put your hands here and then breathe out and it's going to go over the back. Um, you know, you can really get deep with that and, you know, let that heat travel back out toward your back and into your kidneys and, you know, help light the main fire if you're really trying to, you know, like accumulate some light and energy. Um, but this is, you know, pretty standard process for asking for guidance from Reiki. Um, so once you feel like you have the Reiki energy flowing, um, which is, you know, really as, as simple as intending Reiki on in your head. It, it can be that simple, but, you know, it's, it's a little bit more um, of a process if you want to become um, more embodied, right? So you're going to push the Gasho Mudra above your head, and you're going to switch into what we call the Rin Mudra. And this one comes to your chakra in your root, and then once you bring it down in front of your heart, you're going to push it forward. So as you can see, it kind of looks like male genitals. Um, so the root chakra, and then you're going to come out to here and change into the Pyo. And that's going to come down the front to the heart level and push forward. Now, this one you can see is kind of more shaped like a womb. Um, the other one was a set of uh, male genitals. So this one's female genitals. So now we have um, grounding and reception. And we're going to go into Gasho again above our head, and we're going to bring our hands out to the side so their palms face forward, like basically a big cross for our body. And then we clap and bring our hands together in an interlaced, basically okay sign. Um, push that forward. Keep your hands together at the base. Roll the left fingers in to the pads and then put these knuckles on the pads of the right hand. Then you're gonna wrap these fingers around and these two fingers are up and then they fold over and then they come in. So the first two, we have the root and um, sacral chakra. The third is for your throat chakra on the yang side. And the last one is for the entirety of your energetic field. So you're activating yourself in a very specific manner with these mudras, and you can use this to open and close your process. So once you have gone into this one and your entire energetic field is activated, you can then do hands-on healing, you can work on somebody else, you can do your distance healing, writing on papers, whatever. And then once you're done with that, you can close it down, you know, thank your guides for their uh, assistance and the Reiki energy for its work and so forth and the lineage. Come back up to here, come back down, thank your guides for allowing, and, and the Reiki uh, lineage and spirit. And, you know, if you have a psychic Reiki crystal, you can thank that too. Um, and then bring that back to your heart. Go into Pyo. Express gratitude for the energies that you've received, conceived, and fruited. Come back out to the sides, clap. Express gratitude for the energies that are radiating outward from you. And you can express gratitude for the energies that have been integrated into your field. So you can also do this instead of just expressing gratitude. You can, you know, um, intend that the energies are integrated into those centers. There's a number of ways you can work with the intention and the energy. It's up to you to be flexible and explore and find out where you can work with these things. Um, but if you're really looking to expand your knowledge base regarding this process and, and regarding some of the activations energetically, 
I recommend that you get the Intro to Mikio course from Michael Goddard or come learn uh, Kujikiri from me. I do not teach this um, separate from Reiki level three, so you're going to have a good amount of time and money invested into learning this from me, um, but you will learn it properly and effectively. So that is, you know, one thing I can say is that, you know, what you're going to get is, is proper and, and effective. Um, if you have any more questions, feel free to reach out to me, um, syncreticqigongreiki.art. And that's my website. I'm also on Facebook, uh, YouTube. Um, not really looking to get emails. So if you want to get a hold of me, um, you can use the telephone number on my website. You can reach me by WhatsApp. Um, I, I'd rather talk to you, see, um, or rather I should say hear what your tone of voice is like and, and hear, um, you know, what it is you would like. It, it's really easy to, um, misinterpret text communications. It's really easy to misinterpret emails. Um, you know, sometimes we have people that speak English and they're from another country entirely. So they, they may not interpret some of the Americanisms that I use properly. Um, so yeah, please give me a ring. Uh, I would rather talk to you uh, by voice, even if it's, you know, just kind of like Marco Polo back and forth than um, by writing. So um, again, it's syncretic qigong dot, or syncretic qigong reiki dot art. And um, I also am on Facebook, YouTube, and so forth. Um, so have a great day, everybody. Saru Mangalam. May everything be auspicious. And uh, hopefully you've all gained something from this video today. Thank you.